Hello, my name is Dan and welcome to a rather rainy day here in Essex in South East UK. So today I'm going to be planting two varieties of summer cabbage. So I'm going to be using multi-purpose compost and that is indeed in this pot here. This is home base variety, nothing else added to it. So ideally I like to plant my cabbage seeds in cell trays such as this so that I don't have to prick them out at a later date but of course I've only got a certain amount of space where which to store them whilst they're being germinated and I have to make the most of that so I'll show you how I'm going to be planting these cabbage seeds we shall start with golden acre so you don't want too many you don't want them too thick and literally just do that straightforward tag on with the date in which they're planted so 15th of February the variety golden acre and also what it is cabbage and then simply cover over with some multi-purpose compost next one is cabbage earliest of all and once again just relatively lightly scatter them and then plant over or put on top multi-purpose compost tag once again and both of these are going to be going on an indoor windowsill Hello, so we're on the 27th of February. Now, I have two varieties of cabbage here. Here I have earliest of all, and here I have golden acre. So I initially planted them in these pots on the 15th of February, and I brought them out here a week or so later, maybe a few days either side. Got them out here because I didn't want them to get leggy, which they would have become had I left them on the windowsill where which I initially germinated them. So the plan today, is to prick them out into these cell trays and they will then be ready in a few weeks for transplant probably to the allotment. Going to fill up my cell tray here with multi-purpose compost, nothing else added to it. This is home base brand and filling up my cell tray like this. I'm not going to firm it down too much because I want to be able to get my little seedlings in. I don't want it too soft of a base but uh, not too solid. We're going to start with earliest of all. You need to be very gentle here. So I'm going to gently get my little seedlings out. I'm just going to gently pull them. One at a time, ideally. Got two here. <laughs> In fact, I've got four here. So there they are. So if I show you this, that's what it looks like and I'm simply going to these are really good for this and this is a tag all I'm going to do is just pull myself a little or make myself a little hole here and simply put it in and I want it to go in as deep as possible really just about two or three millimeters I'll say about an eighth of an inch something like that just so that uh, you can plant these deep, like you can all brassicas, all cabbages, etc. And there we are, that's a pricked out seedling. We shall do one more so you can see. Pull that out, push it in. You really don't need to be too fussy here. And there we are. So we'll do one more together. And when you take them out, really take care to make sure you get your lovely root like that, as undisturbed as possible. And we shall transplant it into here. So make a nice hole, deep as you can, so you, you can hopefully just pop your root straight in and quite a bit of the stem and there they all are the next stage is to simply fill up with multi-purpose compost try and firm them in now so that your seedlings are nice and upright and we just proceed to I like to just use my hand here to hold the compost and in that way you can guide your seedling and you can either do what I'm doing here, you know, sort of be a bit random with the way you're doing it, or you can do one at a time, or a combination of both. 
depends on uh, your style. Not that one, look. Get nice and upright. It doesn't have to be in the center of the cell. You can take the opportunity like that one there, just to firm that right in, nice and upright. Bit of compost around it. Any ones that uh, fall over, whatever. Stand them up. I will now water using my little watering can here. Really not going to be drowning these. Don't want to be knocking my seedlings over. Going to give them enough water to thoroughly wet the surrounding compost. There we are. And I'm going to put my tag on. So with regards to my tags, I got the date I initially planted the seeds, which was the 15th of February. I've got what it is, cabbage, the variety, earliest of all. And I've also got today's date, 27th of February, when I prick them out. That way it can be really good to refer to what you've done, you can see what you've done well, and maybe what you can build upon next time. Hello, Dan here, 9th of April, and today we are planting out cabbage variety Golden Acre. So down here I have a no-dig bed, and it largely consists of some pre-bought compost and also plenty of well-rotted horse manure, so very rich in nitrogen and the cabbages should do really well here. So they're going to go in 18 inches apart, 45, 46 centimetres. I'm going to use a dibber to make the holes. So I've got my tape measure and my trowel here. I'm just going to take out these uh, thistles that are growing. If you get the chance to do a bit of weeding as you work, very good, can save you time and weeds. Right, so what we do is we simply get our tape measure and I'm going to start mine just here I've got some plants there that I don't want to get too near to they'll be gone soon but they're still there for the time being so I'm actually going to start my row about here so what I shall do is just dip whoops simply dip my hole there just like that and I'm going to go that way and make the hole 18 inches 45 centimeters apart Okay, so we're going to get our plants out. They're really nice plants. Take good care in getting them out. You could sometimes put something in the bottom there to get them out, but there we are. I'm not going to do that here. So there we are. Golden acre cabbage. Looks very nice. And got a nice root ball on that. Very happy there. Look at that. Nice there. And all we're going to do is literally just bury it in. And you want to go about uh, one or two mils below the first leaf and put it in nice and deep. You can afford to go quite deep when you set brassicas out. They do appreciate that. Nice firm soil and nice and upright. And that is basically it. And we just follow suit the whole way along. So I've actually decided to put another row in. So it looked very nice. You can see <laughs> here I had a few over and I've put them in the middle of the rows here, but uh, that's not a problem. I'm uh, not looking to enter any giant cabbage competitions, so they should be just fine there. But anyway, I got them covered over, you can see, with some very fine knit netting there you want to stop the pigeons in the case of round here or whatever birds might want them where you are and later on the cabbage white butterflies will be a major threat they certainly are around here anyway so you want to protect them from those but uh, anyway we should see how these look in a few months so here we have cabbage variety earliest of all and have a look at that looking very nice and let's get one out and have a look and have a look at the roots so very healthy looking plants and we're going to plant those here in the same way. There they are, all planted up. So you can see that I put some in the middle of the rows there. Once again, no problem. I'm not looking to uh, grow giant cabbages here either. So we shall now await for their crop. So 23rd of June and looking at these cabbages here. And this one here is looking really good. So variety earliest of all. Let's have a look at it. So uncover and uh, it's made a nice size so really i could let it get a little bit firmer than this but uh, feels okay firm enough and uh, i am in the mood for an early cabbage so let's dig this one up and see just uh, how he looks cool nice so here we go got a nice cabbage here so of course these outer leaves are perfectly edible and look at that cool. nice early cabbage look at that slug as well we don't want him on there so we'll just uh, take these leaves off and see what uh, what we got a 
So in fact, that's, uh, that's quite fine. I don't have a knife down here with me or anything like that, but uh, that's slug. Oh, he's gone now. I don't have a knife down here with me or anything like that to uh, split it open and show you, but uh, certainly a good cabbage there. And uh, there's one or two more around this sort of standard, if you will, but um, the others will probably take a bit longer. Let's have a look at them. Yeah, so that one there, that, that is very hard. We'll have that one out. And uh, this one here, got them well and truly uh, covered up. Got to keep your cabbages covered up. Cabbage white butterfly, etc., etc. And uh, we've got one more. Real nice, firm cabbage, that one. You want it sort of like, so you can just depress your fingers in it a little bit. And uh, you can with this one. You don't want to squeeze it and it's all sort of soft and you know, you're a bit sink in because the head won't be fully formed like that. Of course, you could still eat it. And this one out. So this is a really nice one, look at that. So, uh, can't see any slug holes in that, which is absolutely wonderful. So that's looking good. And look at these lovely, delicious leaves here. Of course, these are edible. If I uh, remember correctly, these leaves are sort of full of calcium and things like that, very good for you. So uh, there we are, look at that uh, good old cabbage there. So if I'm gonna sort of prepare this one for eating, what I do is I take off the uh, outer leaves and uh, they're discarded down there, but so uh, they're not discarded because I'm actually gonna be uh, eating those, but uh, just sort of get it ready, make it look nice and neat. Take them off like that. Now, then you've got your sort of cabbage like that, yeah? And what you've got here, that's the stem. And what I'll do here, I'm gonna cut that off like that. And then I can take that and uh, there we are, that stem down there, what I'd normally do is sort of smash it up with a lump hammer, break it down a bit, and then put it in the compost bin. You can compost them no problem. So uh, there we go. Nicely prepared uh, cabbage there. So I've just picked this golden acre, and uh, it's the 28th of June. So you can see here what I've done, actually, is I've left the outer leaves on, because I'm not going to be eating this within the next few days, and I believe this can help to keep a cabbage fresher for longer. So leaving that like that, that'll go in a sort of a cold, dark, dry place. And uh, when I'm ready to use it, I'll then remove some of the outer leaves and prepare the cabbage accordingly. Just a little tip there for you. So 28th of June and the golden acre cabbages are starting to come into maturity. They are a little bit behind the earliest of all, as one would expect. But this one here, nice firm head on it and this one here also a nice firm head on it that one's bigger than that one probably going to be picking both of these today so let's uh, lift this net up and see what they look like it's a bit smaller than the uh, earliest of all but that's fine pick nice and easy and uh, it's got more holes in it than the gold maker let's have a close-up so here it is once again going to peel off the outer leaves and they're going to be cooking those up separately. Tidy little cabbage there, look. As I said before, a few holes, but uh, that's really no big deal. So let's pick another one. And let's uh, see what we've got here. Once again, another nice, cute little cabbage there. There they are. I'm not going to be leaving them, of course, down there. You don't want to be leaving old cabbage leaves at the bottom of uh, your feet at the allotment because, uh, you know, slugs will uh, like to get them and attract slugs. You don't want to be doing things like that. Good gardening hygiene is a great thing to practice. But uh, so there's the cabbages there. So smaller than the golden acre. Now, I've never actually grown this variety golden acre, so I'm not sure what size, you know, its max potential size is. Maybe you can let me know down below. So, of course, the golden acre, sorry, the earliest of all cabbage, I set that in that bed and that had a nice lot of horse manure on the top, which is very rich in nitrogen. So that may account for the bigger size cabbage. It may not, it may be because it's variety dependent. Who knows in these regards? But anyway, I think we can conclude our cabbage video now. I hope you enjoyed that. Comments, questions, whatever's, please feel free to post below and I'll see you in the next video.